I'm Todd Pappy, game director at God of War Ascension. What you're about to see is a making of video that we've been shooting over about two plus years. It gives you a good idea of the inception of an idea all the way through to the final product. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress. Enjoy. Traditionally, Minotaur is half man, half bull, and that's what we've gone with in the past. This time around, we're messing with the Minotaur a little bit. The sky is open in terms of what we can do with him. My task for this Minotaur is to bring something different to the table to the point where we're even talking about taking it outside of being a bull. So it's going to be some kind of new hybrid amalgamation. We're trying to find all the aggressive mammals that we can and, and trying to bring them together with a human and see what we get. With the Minotaur, uh, it might not even be a Minotaur. The basic structure is that it's got to have the reverse need it's got to be a somewhat imposing creature that's going to be somewhat of a difficult fight and more of a bully where he always tries to back you into a corner. Whether we go with rhino skin or something like that to add that extra layer and make it feel different. One of the things that we wanted to do this time around was suggest that the creatures had a little bit more intelligence and we figured the best way to do that would be by including some clothing, some accessories that weren't just armor. So there's going to be a lot more robes and things like that this time around. This is your sort of standard minotaur approach, you know, the bull head with the horns and all that sort of thing. Here, I'm kind of taking it elsewhere. So this is a bear tar thing. Here's kind of a robot guy. When Todd and Chris saw this particular creature, there was mostly laughter. Absurdity is an interesting aspect to character design, particularly for this game, because as much as people think that everything that we're doing is totally badass, there is a level of absurdity to every character that we make. That's that's kind of what makes them badass and memorable, is that they're kind of a little bit silly, but with fangs. They liked the idea of the bear, and they wanted to see other animals explored with that. So here, there's kind of a crocodile, sort of a rhino mixed with a bullfrog or something. Here's a rhino. They liked this guy, but they decided that he looked a little too Disney. Here's some boars, standard sort of boar with a big head approach. Here's a little bit more of a realistic look on the head. And this one appears to be the favorite right now is this big elephant creature. I mean, these are early sketches, but I'm doing my best to follow the proportions of the Minotaur from God of War 3 so that they would fit the rig and the animations would fit. We looked at rhinos, we looked at all sorts of different kind of characters, but the elephant really stuck. We felt that it would be a great replacement for the Minotaur. After they decided that they wanted to go with the elephant, I started showing them some elephant variations, and this is when we were bringing back in the necessity for the rig that it was originally designed for. There was a lot of back and forth with this, trying to find the right proportions so that it would fit. Ultimately, this guy got scrapped altogether. The only thing I kept from him was his belt. <laughs> Ultimately, this is the final Elephantar for the game, keeping the old Minotaur rig legs, but working with the new Elephant upper body. Once that stuck, it was, all right, well, let's get him in game and start getting this grayscale and see how he fits on the Minotaur rig. So we got him in game, and then we decided, you know, he's just not big enough. We got to scale him up now. You know, he's an elephant. Like, he should be, he should look really big on screen. So we scaled him up like 20% and I think he looks much better. And really with this guy, I'm just really trying to get kind of the energy across that he has. You know, he's got a lot of attitude and it's a really interesting looking character, you know? It's just like this crazy, like rocky, badass elephant dude. So <laughs> you can see I'm, I'm just kind of laying in all the big shapes so I can get a better idea of how much detail I need to put in areas around his body and where I want to draw the eye. Let's say I went in and I just sculpted the body, did all the detailing, like all this armor, uh, like all the armor plating and the, the skin texture and everything. If I don't go in there at some point and really start getting in the rest of his outfit, I could end up, you know, over detailing and, and overworking a bunch of areas that no one's ever going to see and also kind of messing up the rhythms of his forms. It's really trying to lay in and capture his attitude and his character. If I zoom in really far, you see like this is just a mess right now. It's all pixelated and everything. But what's going to happen is I'm going to just keep subdividing up and going in there and just refining the detail and just like carving these shapes away. I just think of like this screaming, charging elephant, you know? He's just, he's just pissed off and he's going to kick your ass. And that's kind of, you know, that's just kind of what I go with. Just a really, you know, like try and go with aggressive shapes and, and just, you know, make sure that's, that comes across. Elephant tour came with a lot of challenges compared to previous character Minotaur, it has a lot of elements in it, like 
long tusk and the trunk. So when I animate, I just don't bother the trunk and do whatever I need to do. And then the trunk comes later. I like the grinder attack. He just has this loop of going all crazy. It's like he won't stop at anything, just go for it. <laughs> Used to be shorter length, but then it got longer as 80 frame. Used to be like 50 frame of attack, but it needed time to get it looks really heavy. You have to see how heavy the club is. It's pretty much all about the timing. We wanted a really tough creature, like an unstoppable juggernaut of sorts. In the previous God of Wars, the Minotaur kind of served that role. In this one, we'd step it up because you know, this is the new God of War. For his character itself, we wanted someone that wasn't entirely savage, entirely out of control. We wanted someone that obviously had a lot of weight, had a lot of power, but was still borderline in control versus pure aggression. This is our test level that we experiment all our creatures in. He's swinging the giant club around. It's reminiscent of his tusks. It shows like he's from a long line of other stronger elephants. He's gonna try to grab me, and then this is one of our instances where you're in an interactive sequence, but you're not having button prompts on the screen. And then here's the kill. So you're got him pinned down, and like he's totally trying to grab you. So you get hit all your buttons, try to take him out as quick as you can, and then this is the satisfying moment when you stab, just tear it open, and it just pops right out. God of War is a really gruesome, brutal game, so we we always try to push the limits. In order to get the head splitting open, our tech artists actually made a seam right here. It splits open, and they actually animate a separate object that we replaced the top of the skull with the zipper tech. It popped open, and this is the brain. So this is where we hide one object. We reveal this one with the actual brain, and this one it pops out. And you know, obviously, this is before all the effects and all their departments get their hands on it. <laughs> Bruno came to me about this kill. He just told me make it as you know as brutal as possible. So yeah, I was I was I was like I was like I was like oh wow this is gonna be cool. This is the beginning part of finishing off the elephant. Kratos yanks him to a position where he wants to slice his head open. So that's the first thing. The pose is very important. Like you can still be threatened by the elephant. He's pinned down, and then you, at this point you you can like you know slash his head. I added a little bit of the emotion on the eyebrow. I have this eye blinking a lot, blinking, blinking, and all of a sudden just froze. But I don't know. It, it kind of got lost with all the bloods going on. At this point, like Kratos just look at his prize, like his finish move and uh, toss him away like a garbage. I think Elephantar turned out great. I think the model looks absolutely fucking fantastic.